Governor DeSantis shakes up the classroom with controversial reforms. Join us. All right. Governor Ron DeSantis signs a bill reshaping K through 12 education in Florida, emphasizing academic rigor, charter school conversion, say that three times, and limiting book challenges stirring debate over curriculum control. What say you, Joel? Well, I, I think this is a, an actual, it's a good thing when you, when you look at, uh, the overall education system that we have right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of controversy uh, with these uh, book challenges and who gives the right to challenge a book if you don't have a kid in school? I mean, sure you pay taxes, but you know, it's getting out of control where you have individuals that have no kids in school that are taking the time to try to challenge books that should have no challenge whatsoever. Parents that have children in school would never have challenged that book. So yeah, limit them, you know, put, say enough is enough. Stop trying to take legislation that we've passed in the prior and manipulate it to your purpose. So that's a good thing. When you take your legislation and you look at it and you say, okay, let's clear it up. Mm. Okay, charter schools, you know, no, no child should be in a failing school. So this really attacks the fact that, you know, it changes the chartering for some of the schools. Uh, let's talk about the fact is, that another good thing here is it addresses the, uh, the Purple Star, uh, the Purple Star uh, uh, program, which is uh, with, you know, for military families, you know, we have 197 schools that hold that distinction. And it's, uh, it's a program that helps military students, you know, students uh, that are transitioning into our schools, they get the opportunity to be college and uh, workforce ready. So there's the, um, the parents might be deployed. There's several different things that they might be challenged with uh, deploying all the time. This is a, a support that is uh, essential. And 38 states actually have this designation and eight states have actually have legislation and since 2021 we have so i'm i'm proud of that now on the negative side david i have to address the fact that we shouldn't have you know to be clearing up our legislation it should have been right the first time that's where charter we agree school, charter schools uh, our charter school program um i'm one that I, I love this the the freedom to have choice i want parents to be able to have that and I liked HR one uh, when it was passed, but I also challenged the fact that charter schools need to have that same that same rigorous uh, requirement that our public schools do, because you can't say, okay, well, they went to a better school when they're not having to meet the same standards. So it's a lot to unpack, uh, I know, um, but. Our legislators need to be paying attention. You can't treat one school different than another uh, other than the fact that, yes, if you want to have school choice where a, a child can go to a Christian school, a Jewish school, a Muslim school, um, there's certain things you can't do with those schools, but they still should have to meet a certain criteria. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is where we agree um, on main issues that this topic brings up. Um, I'll start with the Purple Star Schools of Distinction. Uh, this is great. The, I mean, this is really good. And hopefully it does expand, you know, to more school districts. Uh, I agree, you know, um, 
military families uh, having that additional support uh, because it is difficult, uh, the traveling, the deployments, so forth and so on. So th this, I think, is a no-brainer for uh, the legislature and the governor. Uh, in regards to the charter schools, not a big fan of them. Uh, I think the charter schools are just a way of siphoning um, – public dollars uh, away from public education. Um, and it just seems like the legislature is always trying to fix the situation, always trying to fix it, trying to fix it, trying to fix it. Um, I'm not, you know, as far as this this particular point in, 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 in trying to fix um, the long negotiations that happen and uh, trying to convert um, more charters into the system uh, is something I think that is going to be a, a, a ongoing issue here in Florida and, and never really get resolved. Well, I think one of the issues, and uh, this is a discussion that I had offline that I want to, you know, we're about facts, not feelings, and mm -hmm. I want more facts on this, but from what I understand, the legislature did a voice vote on whether the uh, the actual dollars were going to follow the student, mm -hmm. and uh, it seemed that the it, that we don't have them uh, the the legislature legislature accountable for that vote, mm -hmm. and they don't follow the student. And what that Surprise. to me means, what that to me means. That even if the vote was to have it follow the students, we don't know for sure because we did no electronic vote. And if we're not following this, if the dollars aren't following the student, mm -hmm. what is it to a parent that says, I'm going to homeschool? Gets everything set up and says, okay, I'm going to homeschool. Okay. The dollars go home. Now you pay your rent and you do all this stuff with the money that just came to your home. And then you say, you know, it's just not working out. I'm going to send them back to public school. Now you send them back to public school. Those dollars don't go to the public school. So the dollars have already been spent. Right. And then, then, okay, we're going to go here. So that, that to <laughs> me is the question. I, I'm not got the facts. Right. I've got the idea, so I'm going to dig a little deeper, David, because I want somebody to comment. I This is why it's so important to get people. Is that what's going on? And if so, how did our legislators allow that to happen? Okay, I'm going to send you to charter school. Okay, well, right. we've already had people in the Democrats don't like the charter schools, but I like charter schools. I like you know private schools. Mm -hmm. But if the dollars are going to the school and then you test them, and say, well, you know, that we don't have the services to take care of your special need. You didn't send them back to public school or because no other private school is going to take them because the dollars have already been spent, right? They're yeah. already there. So let's let's address that. Let's take a look at that. I, I want Tallahassee to give me an answer on that. I will be asking that question because it is interesting. We uh, we we should get uh, school board candidates on the show and specifically have a uh, uh, an agenda or, or topics to specifically address with the school board candidates. And I think on the top of my list would be the charter school system and tax dollars funding those uh, uh, that system, uh, yeah. es especially opening up the uh, scholarship program for everyone in the state uh, to use those public tax dollars to well, go to I mean, private schools and charter schools. I mean, I, I'm i a big fan of the governor, and the governor did a lot to help the new teachers, and I expected mm -hmm. that once he did that, I, I said, calm down, everybody. I understand the, uh, the veteran teachers, but they're coming next. Well, next has been a little bit longer than it should have been because I think the fact is with the governor running for president, Mm -hmm. that hasn't happened yet. So we're losing teachers, veterans, te veteran teachers, because they're getting paid the same amount as mm -hmm. new teachers. So let's, uh, let's have a robust uh, look at our education system. I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking. I, I think this is one of those things that is improving. It's getting better. We need to 
get it better. We need to get to the finish line. And to speak to the governor running for office, and this goes to my next point in this particular topic, the uh, book bans. And, um, David, we can't call them book bans. <laughs> book challenges. <laughs> book challenges, book bans, it's all the same. Uh, DeSantis, the legislature, uh, were high on this legislation. They were high on giving the public the ability to challenge certain books. Parents. And well, they fixed it. The Parents. public, no, no, no. I'm talking before they, before the fix was in. Yeah. But the public was allowed to challenge, and they still are to some extent, but with limitations now. And this was something I I think we did we did do a show on that, maybe a couple. And we kind of predicted it would have gone haywire and it did and uh, but DeSantis was very firm in saying that you know parents should have you know the the choice the decision making and what is being taught to their kids and then you know all the woke you know crap that he was talking about in the culture wars and so forth and so on but this the this fix was predictable the 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 problem was predictable and now that he's not running for president and he's back doing this job as governor he's got to he's he's got to resolve this it didn't work it didn't propel him to you know the nomination for president his you know uh -huh. challenges his book bans his woke wars his cultural wars i don't and, think that's uh, why it, he did that i don't I, I, you could we on, could it, argue it, that it, one it, but i we think knew, this, i but think Joel, this is, we but this knew is what got him elected mess, this, uh, this this mess was going to happen yeah but you you have to re let's go back to when he ran against uh when, when he Gillum. originally ran against Gillum. Yeah. The reason he won and the reason you can look back and say, hey, there was a strong African-American woman vote yes. on the school That's issue. Correct. That's correct. So That's correct. I think that you're not getting a change for just running for president. I, I think that he really, truly maybe read it this way. So black folks were able so to. So he read to, it this way, right. and 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 now it's it's being taken. It, it, it's been taken by you know it, it's been taken by an outside group, uh, moms, moms for, for liberty, for liberty, yeah. And and all of a sudden it's now redefined. So I, I mean, yeah, they. I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them. The, I'm not. I'm going to give them the not. benefit of the doubt. It was a jackass. It movie. was. I got to get into. <laughs> I got to fix. You know, I got to make these. You know, these fixes in school because that's what got me here and then it's now right so i that so he gave you're, you're right david in, in in the fact that we don't have the answers we're not in the we're not in that secret room uh, <laughs> it's a secret in, in room, secret now. room uh, <laughs> uh -oh. well you know you got the uh -oh. public room and you got the secret room uh -oh. i mean politics is politics but it was predictable and he he could have called the special session and say okay we've got a mess on our hands when when whole bookshelves were being removed and and carts of books yeah, where? were being carted out all over even here in orange county i, I missed those views i i, I missed Did those i heard, I, I, I heard i've seen it but i've seen it i i i, I, I looked at the o, ocps you know board meetings and i mean and, and it's like it, it, i mean a book about rosa parks about roberto clemente you know the uh, about frida Kahlo, about you know the People, events, uh, ideas. Age that, appropriate. Age appropriate, David. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, so you take a book out of a class, out of a, a media center um, that has K through eight. Um, I I know there's junior high and, and middle schools and stuff like that, but I would think an eighth grader should be able to read a book about Rosa Parks or Roberto Clemente. No? It depends on which school you're talking about. See, I'm not sure which school it is. If it's See, a, if, I did, and there, and if it's out, it, if it's not age appropriate, it's not age appropriate. And right? then, and, and then at the at the end of the day, I mean, a lot of this stuff you could go to a public library, which they're under fire for being a public library, uh, or of course, our favorite, you go to the freaking internet, <laughs> and all this stuff is available. 
And then well, some. there's more legislation we could talk about <laughs> exactly, on that. Exactly, social media. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just that what kills me is that the, 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 the conservatives are always talking about less government, less government. So little government that you could drown it in the bathtub. But then I see this overreach about, you know, okay, challenge books. Okay, you can't, uh, you know, uh, social media is banned for, you know, younglings at under 14. You know, let the parents decide. Well, Parents are going to decide now. They are. So, yes, David, are. Uh, I don't know how long we've gone on this episode, but it sounds like it sounds like we we're, we're in agreement on we're a lot agreement. of stuff. Yeah, we're in agreement. This is a fix. You're you're saying it doesn't go far enough. I'm saying, you know, look, I think especially we're, for the charters. I, I think that we're 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 moving forward. Um, answer some more questions that I have, uh, and I will. We will have school board members. We're going to have a yeah. lot of guests. Uh, we. We're, we're reaching out. We're getting good response. We're hearing uh, back. Please watch our episodes. We have already had uh, Amy <laughs> Pennick is coming. Uh, you'll enjoy that interview. That was school board. She's running for supervisor of elections. So County. she went. She went into depth on both. She was very accommodating. Yeah. Uh, we've had legislative uh, updates so far. That are coming to you uh, with David Smith, uh, Representative David Smith, Representative Rachel Plakin, uh, and actually, you know, Carolina, Representative Carolina Amnesty has sat down. We have Anna Eskamani coming in, Banks, and we're doing this for you, our audience. So please tune in, ask your questions. If we don't get those answered in that in in the, the show that you see, they're accessible. We're going to ask those questions. That's my final word, David. This legislation, final word on this is it's going in the right direction. Yeah. And uh, look, Purple Star Schools, let's do that emphasis. But let's also take and make our schools equal across the board. My final word is um, I think it's great that there's attention um, and priority given to the Purple Star uh, Schools of Distinction program. Uh, again, the book challenges, the book bans uh, typically don't work. There's always the internet. I mean, really. I, anyway, uh, in charter schools, uh, there's so much work that needs to be done to, to fix this whole issue. Again, personally, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I am a fan of private schools. If you have the money, you pay for it. I grew up in private schools, full disclosure. Um, however, there's still a lot of work to be done here in our public school system in Florida. And um, Joel's right. We got a whole bunch of really cool content coming to you. Hopefully that uh, you will watch, you will listen, and please share with everyone this is great stuff that's coming to you share with everyone that you know because uh this is what we do part of what we do and uh it's part of being political innovators here at jm washington so please like share hit the notification button so you can be reminded when our shows are are coming up uh on your feed and uh of course comment 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 we love to engage if you're going to send bible verses We'll engage with that too. Well, David, I don't think we said it enough. You can't make this shit up. Have a great day. Thank you.